happened to verge $1.8 million of cryptocurrency swiped in a matter of hours. Then the Bitcoin gold plundered in an $18 million double spend attack. Then diverge again, this time to the tune of $1.7 million. Along the way, Monocoin is also believed to have been hit. Someone is methodically working their way through proof-of-work coins, controlling their hash rate, and then launching 51% attacks. Other PAL teams are now on high alert for signs that their coin could be next 0.51% attacks, in which a malevolent miner controls the majority of the network hash rate and then uses it to force through fraudulent transactions or commonly discussed but rarely encountered. That all changed on April 4 when Verge was hit by a 51% attack. At the time, the incident was put down to the general fog of incompetence that surrounds Verge. The exploit was quickly patched and everyone moved on. Then, just over a month later, Verge was hit again along with Bitcoin Gold and possibly Monocoin too. The spate of attacks has caused a crisis of confidence in proof-of-work coins and forced their development teams on the defensive. Although called a 51% attack, in reality it's often possible to control the network with a much lower hash rate. Because Verge uses five different hashing algorithms, for example, the attacker was able to reduce the mining difficulty for just one algorithm and focus all their firepower on that, armed with just one-fifth of the hash power they would otherwise have needed. The second time around, they modified their attack slightly and targeted Verge with a dual blast using two different algorithms. Bitcoin Gold, meanwhile, was targeted due to its Equihash algorithm. The same one used by such coins as Zcash and Komodo, the cost of staging a 51% attack following the run of 51% attacks, teams have rushed out updates to reassure the community that their coin is safe, and to deter would-be attackers. The cost of attacking Ethereum Classic has been estimated at $70 million, for example, and estimates have been made for doing the same with the top 10 PAL coins. BTC is priced at $2.2 billion to attack, whereas Zcash comes in at $87 million. In his blog post, Usama Bood claims that, if a Zcash miner with plus 8% of Nethash switches to mine Bitcoin gold, he is plus 51% BTG Nethash, that brings the cost of 51% attack on BTG to 580 ZEC per day, till the $200,000 because Bitcoin gold has a much lower hash rate than coins such as Zcash. It is a far easier target to pick off. Now that the feasibility of double spending a recognized PAL coin has been proven, aspiring attackers are calculating the costs of renting hashing power from a provider such as NiceHash and using it to take over a target of their choosing. This is one of the dangers with an altcoin using an existing algorithm. It's easy for an attacker to switch from mining one to another at the flick of a switch, leaving low hash rate PAL coins vulnerable to hostile takeover without warning. There's a storm brewing PAL teams are hitting back and have enacted various measures to thwart future attacks. On request, Binance has upped the number of confirmations required to deposit Equihash-based coins onto the exchange. The more confirmations that are required, in theory, the more likelihood there is of detecting and thwarting a 51% attack. Made Safe, meanwhile, has proposed a new consensus mechanism called Parsec. Though some believe it may be vulnerable to other threats such as Sybil attacks, which are a recurring theme with staking algorithms for the coins that are committed to remaining with proof-of-work. 
most of which descended from Bitcoin at some point in time. It's a case of remaining on high alert for possible signs of foul play. One POW altcoin team has set up a script to constantly monitor their hash rate. In the event of a spike of over 10%, they will be automatically notified. Should the newly added hash rate emanate from an unknown pool or be in danger of tipping an existing pool over 50%, they have a large quantity BTC on standby with nice hash ready to purchase their own firepower to counter the attack. It's a high stakes game and POW teams can't leave anything to chance. No one wants to be the next Bitcoin gold. Do you think the spate of 51% of taxes is over for now or is there more trouble ahead? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for listening to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.